Hello, Cancer. I am here to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys in love. Um, so the song I got on shuffle for you guys was, it's a Spanish song. It's by Shakira. Um, it's called Me, Me Enamore. And it's actually the song she sings about, I think, her current husband. So she's basically like, the night that I met you... She, was, she fell in love, they danced all night, um, you know. And I, there's like a couple lines that I like. It's almost like it took her by surprise. There's a line that I like that it's like, um, in Spanish she says it. It sounds so much better in Spanish, but she says, I'd have, with you I'd have 10 kids, and the only reason I'm telling you is so that we can start practicing. So I feel like if you are meeting somebody new, there's going to be a strong physical attraction. There is this feeling of like a connection coming in for you that's going to be instant love. Um, you know, and I always do these readings because I always know it's kind of like the same thing over and over again, but realize that it's just about what vibration you choose to be on. At the end of the day, you can't sit around waiting for this. You have to be in that high vibration that like enjoying life feeling good because that's when it's going to come in for you so it's kind of like these readings are correlating to what you choose to allow into your reality so um that's why you'll see a lot of people commenting like i claim this reading right so definitely i feel like this is going to be a reading you want to claim so let's pull some oracle cards here for cancer um admit your vulnerability vulnerabilities you guys that has come out for I think every single sign in this round of readings every single sign so we've got some full moon vibes going on we've got the Virgo vibes going on there seems to be this need to kind of get in touch with those inner inner um, feelings of ours and kind of accepting accepting parts of ourselves that we might find weak or we might find flawed you know Accept disappointments gracefully, um, and then express your joy. So again, with the express your joy, that's like being in that high vibration. So I feel like there's a connection you're disappointed in. You're disappointed that it hasn't panned out, but I feel like it's because there's something better, right? And this better we're about to find out about. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Wands. You can meet this person maybe on a dating app or maybe um, out. I feel like this person could be a little bit younger than you. They could be younger or they could just have a really young spirit. They could be like fiery, flirty energy. It's like somebody you go out flirtation with. Also, the fact that it's a Spanish song, this person could be foreign. This person could have a little like Spanish flair to them. So let's see. Overall energy between you and another person. We've got the Four of Pentacles. So I do feel like you are holding on to something. And in order for this to come in, you need to let go of that. You need to be willing to let go of the situation that just hasn't panned out for you. It just hasn't panned out for you. Um, so let's see. The Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're holding on to something even though you have other options. Even though there's other people interested in you, maybe you're holding on to a fire sign. Um, but I do feel like you need to step into your power. You need to take those vulnerabilities that you have, those perceived flaws, and use them to your, to your benefit. Because I do feel like you have something better coming in and you have somebody who's going to accept you for everything, for everything, you know? Like, I... I this is just like a piece of advice, whatever you're dealing with, you know, especially we're constantly saying, oh, if I like, if I lose 10 pounds, then maybe I'll find somebody. If I do this, then maybe I'll find somebody. What if you were just to find somebody who didn't care about that? Like, why don't we ever try manifesting that way? That shows how we are kind of not comfortable with ourselves or if I get some kind of injections, then I'm going to find somebody. But what if we were to manifest somebody who just loves us completely? But in order to manifest that person, we kind of have to love ourselves whole and completely. So I do feel like 
you you have somebody here that you're holding on to that kind of keeps you in a limitation in like a you're not good enough type of energy when there's somebody out there who's going to make you feel way more than enough um and you just have to believe that that person exists so ten of swords uh this is that letting go of this person the nine of swords here and then the moon card um let's see the ten of swords ten of swords page of pentacles and then the ten of wands um ten of swords page of pentacles ten of wands so I feel like this is like you being burdened by, you're, you're waiting for this opportunity from this person who honestly, I feel like they're not worth a damn, to be honest with you. And it's kind of saying like, it's causing you more burden. It's causing you more burden and stress trying to hold on to this, trying to hold on to the hope that this person's going to come forward. Um, I do think that this full moon is going to be significant for you. Got the nine of swords. This is kind of that restless thinking. There's this energy of you kind of feeling like somebody's coming in and you're kind of like obsessively like, when are they going to come? Is today going to be the day? Is today going to be the day? And it's like, you kind of need to chill. Even when it comes to tarot card readings, you might want to force yourself to take a little break from them, you know, because sometimes we can overdo it. So the moon card here, I do feel like this is some kind of significance for the full moon. I do think you're accurate as to feeling like something is going to come in for you, but I just don't think it's who you're thinking it is. So you're kind of creating a limitation for the universe and the universe isn't able to send you in what is coming in for you. Um, this person could live at a distance. This person that's coming in could live at a distance. They could really live in another country. And they could be here visiting. Um, Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Hermit card. So we've got some Virgo energy. We've got some Vir Virgo energy. The Eight of Swords, this talks about indecision. This talks about this feeling stuck. You could be feeling stuck right now, like nothing's panning out for you. But this Queen of Cups is about kind of admitting the vulnerability, admitting your vulnerabilities, getting in touch with like, you know, that heart space and opening up that heart space. And when you get in touch with that part of yourself, I feel like you're going to start seeing how much more you have to offer and that you deserve somebody who you don't have to wait around for, who doesn't have to take time to think about whether they want to be with you or not, you know? Um, let's see the eight of swords here, the knight of wands. Yeah, this is kind of that energy of, and even if this person were to come back in, I think you wouldn't be able to make a decision. You'd be hesitant because you know, you know that this person isn't for you. You know, they're not for you. Um, so this is about gaining enlightenment. This Virgo season, I do feel like is going to be significant for you. I do think you're going to be moving on from this person, first and foremost. Um, and I do think somebody new is coming in for you. Page of Swords. So the Hermit, the Page of Swords. Um, let me see. Because I do feel like this person watches you. And I think you know they do. I think you know they do. But I think you're like waiting for them to come communicate. But in reality, when they come communicate... I don't think you're going to really be available. Like, I don't think you're going to want this person. Um, you kind of just want the satisfaction of them coming forward and wanting you, but it's kind of that holding on is blocking you from somebody that's going to be truly uh, special. And it's kind of giving your energy to this person. So we've got this tower card. We've got this nine of pentacles. So it seems like when you get into this energy of, being independent, not needing this anymore, not needing this person to come forward anymore. There's this big kind of tower moment here. It's like your priorities change. Your priorities change. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be moving. Some of you could be moving and that's where you're going to meet this person. But you're kind of like on the fence about moving because you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something, but it's kind of saying like, 
live your life and everything else is going to fall into it. You'll see, you'll see. Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Yeah, this could be somebody, this could be air sign type of person. This is going to be somebody, the person that's coming in for you is going to be somebody very intelligent. Very intelligent, very wise, could be air sign, could be very spiritual as well. Um, let's pull some archetype cards to see what we can find out about this person coming towards you. The dilettante delights in the arts without having to be a professional, alerts you to the dangers of becoming superficial in your pursuits. Shadow attributes, pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. Okay, so this person's going to be very like smart, I think. Um, character flaws might be that this person sometimes is a little bit arrogant about how smart they are. Um, but I do think that this person is going to be very intelligent. Um, and I guess they're going to be very artistic, enjoy art. This person's going to be very into beauty, I think. They're going to be very into beautiful things. So I feel like, and beauty not in the sense of like, somebody has to look like a model, but they're going to be like, oh, they're going to pick up on the little subtleties about you. So that's why they find parts of your character beautiful, which is why you kind of have to be in that high vibe energy of radiating that, radiating that self-love because this person will be able to pick up on it. This person might be like an artist or something, some kind of creative. Let's get another archetype card for who this person might be, what qualities this person might have. Mother, light attributes, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. Shadow attributes, smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children before becoming independent. So this person is, um, could be a mother. This person could be a mother. They could be very nurturing. Uh, if this is a man, this is a man coming towards you, they're going to be very nurturing. But again, I feel like that's artistic. They love to give life to new things. I feel like this person's constantly trying to like create. This person could be like a creator of some sort. Let's do one more for the heck of it. Femme Fatale highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. Um, inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. That's the shadow attribute. So again, if you listen to the song, it's Spanish. It's very seductive, but it's talking about like, me enamoré, I fell in love and we danced all night, and we had one mojito, two mojitos. So this person could either bring this out in you, or this person could be femme fatale. This person could be very seductive, but again, they love beauty. They could be a poet. They could speak very, you know, sweet words. I feel like you will really like this person. Um, they might be foreign, because, you know, English, I feel like it, you can have sweet, you can be a sweet talker in English, but like, oof, if you're like Spanish or Italian or like, you know, that that's a whole nother level of sweet talking. So this person's going to have a way with words and they're going to be very intelligent. So I feel like you need to be open to, you know, kind of, uh, allowing yourself to Find something new because this is like, this person is going to blow, blow your mind. I, I really feel that. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Cancer. In the extended, I will look more into who this person is, um, what messages there are for you, what's happening unexpectedly, advice from spirit, as well as what's blocking you. For the most part, I feel the person coming in, but I feel like there is some work you need to do, especially around this full moon time and releasing to really kind of pull this one in. But I would definitely check in for like the next cancer reading because I feel by then we might have an inkling as to who this person is. So um, if you're interested in that extended, the link is in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.